Energetic vampires, parasites, and entities reside all around us. If unchecked, their power may slowly drag you down into a dark spiral, and you may never even suspect that it is them secretly doing this to you. Ever since I was a kid, I experienced these beings and went through times of depression and confusion. It wasn't until I started spiritually waking up that I found I was being attacked. Before the Emerald Tablets of Toth found me at about 13 years old, I unknowingly had developed a similar technique as explained in the text to dispel my environment of these beings. I'm going to recite the ancient technique revealed to us by Toth in the Emerald Tablets, followed by an explanation. However, I want to give a disclaimer and say that I am no professional. The technique that will be shared is a simple one to be used to reset your energy and clear it of the energy parasites. It is not always efficient in ridding your life of more severe demons, if you will. If you or someone you know is being severely attacked by demons, you may want to seek further help, but this is a great place to start. Also, I've covered the Emerald Tablets in other videos explaining their modern origins with the eccentric Dr. Doriel and have even suggested that these tablets might have been fabricated by him and his wild imagination, but they are still fascinating and if his claim is true about the tablets, the information they share is powerful. Now, I will recite verbatim Toth's technique on how to rid yourself and environment of evil spiritual entities. Toth says to us, and I quote, Now, I give unto thee the knowledge known to the masters, the knowing that conquers all the dark fears. Use this, the wisdom I give thee. Master thou shalt be of the brothers of night. When unto thee there comes a feeling drawing thee nearer to the dark gate. Examine thine heart, and find if the feeling thou hast has come from within. If thou shalt find the darkness thine own thoughts, banish them forth from thy place in thy mind. Send through thy body a wave of vibration, irregular first and regular second, repeating time after time until free. Start the wave force in thy brain center, directed in waves, from thine head to thy foot. But if thou findest thine heart is not darkened, be sure that a force is directed to thee. Only by knowing can thou overcome it. Only by wisdom can thou hope to be free. Knowledge brings wisdom, and wisdom is power. Attain, and ye shall have power over all. Seek ye first a place bound with darkness. Place ye a circle around about thee. Stand erect in the midst of the circle. Use thou this formula, and thou shalt be free. Raise thou thine hands to the dark space above thee. Close thou thine eyes and draw in the light. Call to the spirit of light through the space-time, using these words, and thou shalt be free. Fill thou my body with spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness. Free me from darkness and fill me with light. Know ye, O man, that when ye have done this, ye shall be free from the fetters that bind ye. Cast off the bondage of the brothers of night. Free thou thine brother, so that he, too, may come forth from the night. Thou, O man, art thy brother's helper. Let him not lie in the bondage of night. All right, now let's briefly unpack how this technique is to be used. Probably the most important is the intro when Toth tells us to examine the feeling we are having. He says it can only be coming from two ways, either from within us, our mind, or externally from some other force. If you discover that this sudden feeling of fear or unsettlement is coming simply from thoughts of your own, for example, you're sitting there having anxiety because you started thinking about some dreadful or sad thoughts, then simply change your thoughts and stop playing with yourself. It would be akin to eating something super spicy that you know you can't handle, but continue to do so when you can easily just not. However, if you know that the energy depletion or fear you have suddenly sensed is not coming from yourself, then you should act as follows. First off, Toth tells us 
Even if you're having regular bad energy, you should dispel it from your brain center. As he says here, send through thy body a wave of vibration, irregular at first and regular second, repeating time after time until free. Start the wave force in thy brain center, directed in waves from thine head to thy foot. This sending of deliberate brain waves is the resetting of your energy. It's most successful when you are in the sudden state of fear. For example, if you were to get up at night and walk through the dark to the other side of the room and suddenly you are faced with what seems like a shadow being and you are struck with intense paralyzing fear in that very moment, although it seems as if you are powerless, you have a huge advantage. Fear is a construct of power, but fear itself is raw energy. It is a heavy and dangerous energy, like nuclear radiation, that can deplete a person. But if wielded carefully and deliberately, it can become explosive and powerful. In that exact moment, when you are struck with paralyzing fear, you must regain your will. You must steadily breathe in and out. Stretch out your arms into a circular motion, bringing them together in a praying stance near your core. The act of swaying your hands also helps to break the paralyzation. In most cases, when we become fearful, we curl up and refuse to open our eyes or move. This is the result of energy being taken from us. When you stretch out and steadily breathe, you regain your will and energy. So, after putting your hands together, still breathing, you must take that raw energy of fear and feel it Feel it to its most pure form. Don't run from it. This is what Toth means when he says, send the vibration irregular at first. That first wave of vibration is the initial feeling of fear. And after that first wave, you must transmute the fear into power. With your hands pressed up against each other, flex your entire body, shooting and emanating light and energy from all of your chakras outward, creating a blast of light. This energy blast will dispel any basic energy vampire around you and will enable you to regain your power. The fear will be transmuted into confidence and positive power. And like the splitting of an atom will create an enormous burst of energy. The trick is, this all must be done almost instantaneously. It will get easier with practice so that fear in its degrading form will slowly leave your mind and life always reflecting off you as its counterpart of confidence repels it. In the Emerald Tablets, Toth emphasizes the importance of building a relationship with and conquering the night and darkness. In darkness, most of our fear is found. In his second half of his technique, he details a more serious approach to vanquishing evil entities out of your life. I don't recommend it to all, but it's worth a try if you feel you have no other option. He tells us to purposely seek out a darkened area, place ourselves in a circle, and basically repeat the brain center technique I just described, while also chanting a positive and uplifting mantra of your own. And while doing this, also visualizing the center of the universe, or God, or the light source of all positivity and building a connection with it during that process. Throughout the tablets, Toth encourages to get used to the dark and night because it is no different than the day, simply that it has darkened. Its evil intent and fearful corners are an illusion. The grand creator of all is still with us at night, and if you can conquer the darkness and night, you will be a formidable opponent against any evil energy entity.